Earlier we saw that on October 19, 2017, a strange cosmic object passed by our Earth, but nobody knew about it. Later, after five days, it moved out of the solar system and was observed by Robert Warwick with his panoramic survey telescope and the rapid response system in Hawaii. What would it be? Let's take a deeper look. The weird object had odd speeds and properties and was named Oumuamua. The name was also unique as it was the only one of its kind that visited Earth. This interstellar object left the solar system faster than it entered and never returned. Things got interesting when scientists thought it would follow a hyperbolic movement due to the gravitational force acting on it. But the direction of that interstellar object was different. An unknown acceleration was working on the object that looked like an elongated cigar. Two things triggered the scientists in all this matter. The mysterious acceleration and the object's shape. Project Lyra. International media and journals made reports on it and named as the block of solid hydrogen. Harvard astronomers suggested every lobe of the particular object resulted from artificial constructions made by some genius extraterrestrial civilizations. The specifications of the object could only be found by going after it. A Project Lyra was launched to discover the realities of Oumuamua. Is it as extraordinary as it seems? Oumuamua, a messenger from afar arriving first, was thought to be a guest from the alien star Vega, which is 147 trillion miles away from Earth. When seen, it has the shape of an elongated cigar that was formed into an uncannily like spaceship, and while leaving the solar system, it got zipped by the sun and performed a slick hairpin. Many theories were presented about this Oumuamua, and they created a hydrogenated burke. All these stories had one common thing. The object is extraordinary and is seen for the first time since its discovery. Scientists have been at odds in explaining its unusual features and precise origins, with researchers calling it a comet and then an asteroid, before finally deeming it the first of its kind, a new class of interstellar object. The researchers at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center raised a possibility that this strange object might possess some artificial source other than alien origin. It has yet to happen for the first time, as many other projects also resorted to using an O-berth maneuver around the Sun. Tactic Caesar spacecraft fell due to the gravitational force, and engines gained more acceleration due to its falling. So in the future, a massive sheet will be required to protect the spacecraft from the Sun. Project Lyra has employed an O-berth maneuver around Jupiter. This mission will examine all previously launched tasks but the drawback is the limited resources and opportunities. The only option left here is to wait for any new object resembling Oumuamua to visit planet Earth. Waiting is not a wise idea, as, according to the scientists, the second object entering into space in 2019 was the one that resembled the minor bodies of our solar system. This second appearance made Oumuamua an oddity and there was no chance that the scientist would encounter any other object again or not. Findings of Avi Loeb At the same time, Avi Loeb suggested that aliens exist and a quintillion Oumuamua's orbit around our solar system. Avi was not sure that it was some alien spacecraft, but he was saying we could be prepared for that possibility too. He was going in the direction that other scientists didn't go. Many Oumuamua's passed by the solar system unnoticed too. Harvard astronomers Loeb and Carson Azell tried to keep track of interstellar objects. They decided to find out how many had been spotted by the astronomers, and came up with a finding that after Oumuamua, three more interstellar things were noticed. The number will be four in the next eight years, and they also concluded that there is the possibility of 40 decillion interstellar objects in the entire solar system. Loeb also gave some fascinating theories about the interstellar object. However, even if they turned out to be rock, he would accept the fact. But still, human knowledge leaves a bit of space about the presence of alien spacecrafts there. The presence of spacecrafts is mandatory, but do you think where they are? Kuiper Belt Researchers believe that most of the mysterious objects lie there. It is the cold, dark and distant space in the outer solar system that has some icy objects, dwarf planets and some comets. 
Researchers have catalogued almost 2,000 Kuiper Belt objects, believing that this is just a tiny number of the total interstellar things present. NASA is just fascinated about the 15810 Arwen of the Kuiper Belt. When you go deep into it, you will know that it is a large rock that orbits around Neptune. But this is not the case. On April 2016, NASA sent a New Horizon spacecraft to the Kuiper Belt. It sent the first image of Pluto, and then suddenly turns towards the strange large object in the trajectory. Yes, you took it right. It was 15810, rock named after the Celtic god of death and war. A question arises here, why is it so special? Well, most of the objects in the Kuiper Belt are of rock and ice, while Arwen is different from them. Scientists and researchers thought it was made of some other material, and the speed is so fast that centrifugal force has taunted it apart. High-speed intactness of the object is also strange to scientists. That fast speed was responsible for artificial gravity in the region. If gravity is not present, that high speed is impossible. Astronauts cannot travel around spacecraft in space without gravity. They need something to keep their balance while observing strange objects. Things got a new turn when the probe went near the object and all the signals and transmissions got cut off. Scientists said that things were like someone was monitoring our activities and didn't want us to interfere in their matters. Before losing interest, they observed the spaceship spinning at a relatively high speed. Transmission loss may be considered a technical glitch, but it was not. Things got back to normal when that object moved away. Now, I hope you can think about that object's reality and let us know your perceptions. If it is an alien civilization, they must stay far away from the Earth and observe the activities on land by staying in the Kuiper Belt. And when they feel a need to visit the world, they must be camouflaged so that the residents of Earth consider them as just a rock. Researchers working on extraterrestrial intelligence say that everybody got thrilled to know the reality of this object. And they are excited for the next Oumuamua visit, as it will help a lot to see the truth behind this kind of object. A special mission will be sent to space in 2028, and they will get the gravity assist from the Earth and will return to the world by 2054, after doing the exact search on Mars and Venus. Previous research also raised the point that a Oumuamua could be space junk that accidentally detaches from any spacecraft or a reconnaissance craft sent to inspect the solar system. The later study is favoured by many as the discovery of a Oumuamua was an anomaly and its speed was coinciding with the motion of the Milky Way galaxy. Allen Telescope Array is set up in California to catch up with the possible signals from a Oumuamua, but they have yet to detect any specific indication. Is it the right way to wait for any similar Oumuamua to visit us? Drop down your thoughts and remember to subscribe to the channel.